You can never have enough good and easy chicken dinners. And today's recipe is a winner. Juicy, extra flavorful lemon chicken. Come with me. You've heard me say this before, but I'm gonna say it again. I am a thigh person. I love chicken thighs, but I have learned to make chicken breast dance. <laughs> yes, I have made, I have, I have a scent chicken breast tender. Tender breast. Uh, What's going on? We need to keep this PG. There are little ones who watch sometimes. All right, we're gonna start with the marinade. This is gonna be a huge flavor party and a very lemony situation because we're doing a lemon chicken and nobody's ever mad about that. So we're gonna go ahead and zest a whole lemon, make it bald. A lot of people don't use lemon zest for some reason, but it really is quite something. It gives you a lot more um, zip. 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 Ting. Uh, yeah, ting, the word is ting. It gives you a lot more zing. Zing is the word, I, zing. Gives you more zing. I told people before that English is my second language. So zip and zing are the same to me. Slice the lemon. I absolutely believe that chicken needs a lot of flavor. And the job of this marinade will be to give it a ton of flavor, but also helping it get a little bit tender. Because we're using lemon and extra virgin olive oil and a lot of good flavors, this chicken doesn't need to marinate for too long. Just, you know, maybe a few minutes, 30 minutes or so is all you need. Lemon garlic chicken. The two key components are lemon and garlic, tons of garlic, like five to six cloves and no one's mad about it. Italian seasoning. I use my own homemade Italian seasoning. We have a recipe right here for you, so check that one out. You probably already have most of these dry herbs in your drawer, so make use. One and a half or so teaspoons of Italian seasoning. A nice pinch of red pepper flakes and a little bit of parsley, a whole lot of parsley. And what comes next? Olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. I feel like David goes to bed and goes, extra virgin olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And then mix this party together. Beautiful marinade. Check this out. I told you before that I'm a thigh person, but I have learned to make chicken breast as good as chicken thighs. Don't ask me, I'm just a magician like that. So the thing about chicken breast is it has the potential to be super dry, but not this way. Position your clean hand on top and we're just gonna go ahead and cut through the middle horizontally. Watch your fingers. Now you have two pieces a lot more manageable in your skillet so you don't have to spend so much time cooking it. Before I put it in my marinade, I actually like to season my chicken right here, salt and pepper to make sure everything is well seasoned. Salt and pepper the chicken on both sides. No one wants to eat a rubbery, flavorless chicken breast. So we're gonna give the people what they want, which is tender, juicy, extra flavorful chicken breast. That is what this lemon chicken recipe is all about. And now we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken to the bowl. Just allow it a good half hour. If you have the time, couple hours in the fridge would be great. People often wonder if you should marinate chicken breast in a marinade that contains acid. So a couple of things to consider. First of all, if you're gonna do a marinade like this where you're using lemon juice and lemon zest, consider how long you plan to marinate the chicken. It should not be marinated longer than four hours if there's a ton of citrus in the actual marinade. So I usually say, 30 minutes to two hours for something like this will give you great flavor. And make sure that you're using more olive oil and less acid if, uh, if that's the case, if you're gonna let it sit a while. So we're gonna set it aside for a few minutes and then we're gonna cook it on the stove top super quick. Extra virgin olive oil. I'm going for Italian today. So I'm using our nacciolata extra virgin olive oil. 
And the goal is to coat the bottom of the pan. When the oil starts to shimmer and separate, that is your cue to drop your chicken. Because it's nice and thin, it's not gonna take too long, so watch it nicely and carefully. Don't check your email. If you check your email, you're gonna get rubbery chicken, and then you're gonna, you're gonna endure a lot of scolding from the family, and I just really care about you, so. And I'm just gonna go right in here. It should sizzle immediately. Sizzling, sizzling. Woo! Did you see that fire? Let's keep it juicy. The goal is always juicy. So we're gonna turn it over. Ooh, yeah. I like to keep some of the marinade in there because that infuses it with juice and a lot of flavor. Ooh. Oh yeah. We only use a couple tablespoons of olive oil and everything else is the marinade and the juices from the chicken. So it's so tender and delicious. I can't wait to dig in. Final finishing touches. I give it a nice sprinkle of parsley right here in the pan and a few lemon slices because it's lemon chicken. How easy. And the crowd went wild. Oh, yes. Look at that. I don't even need a knife. Mm. Mm. Damn, it's good. Need more chicken dinners? I got you covered. Check out my next video. Find the recipe for lemon garlic chicken over on themediterraneandish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.